yogis, my fellow massage therapists, everybody who's watching. I just feel so moved right now. I feel so blessed that I discovered a way to eat that makes me feel this blessed. I can't transmit this feeling to you, but I wouldn't trade this for anything. I've never found anything so valuable. I just can't believe how good I feel throughout all the days. This is day seven. I started eating a little bit of solid food, a little bit of raisins, a little bit of pumpkin seeds, a little bit of banana. I don't miss, I don't miss chewing the food. The truth is, I, it's like I went so many years, so many years just eating the wrong food, not even knowing that I can feel this much better. I can't believe how much better I feel. I feel like there's an internal cleanse happening. My organs are getting clean, my liver, my gallbladder, my stomach, my intestines. I just feel extraordinary. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. I'm perceiving things. I'm more sensitive, I'm more sharp, I'm, I'm more intuitive. I'm sensing people more. I'm connecting with my intuition and knowing what to do better. I'm less agitated. I spend the whole day in flow. Today was amazing. I spent time with with my client, giving him a sports massage, and I was with his kids. And then after that, doing yoga, um, helped the guy with his psoas and his pain that he was having, abdominal pain for months and months. And we identified it, um, sent him off to an acupuncturist who I didn't even know that he was seeing that I knew. <laughs> I know her. And... Uh, we connected there and we didn't even know that we were helping the same guy. <laughs> Funny. And uh, then I went to the mall. The mall was interesting. I didn't, I didn't feel a peaceful, um, healthy energy there. Like walking through all these department stores and all these perfumes and scents and fragrances. Um, it's not the same as being out in nature. And I'm finally developing that sensitivity that I feel like a lot of people have... At a certain point of their life, I don't know what to call it, but they develop this sensitivity that knows what kind of energy fields they want to be around. And also a sensitivity to toxins. They just don't want to be around energetic toxins or physical toxins. And I, I'm getting more sensitive to that aspect. My system can perceive what's good for it more, whether it's attitudes, energies, people. And different people are getting drawn into my life. All of a sudden... I'm getting more and more referrals from people and I'm meeting people that were connecting in such an interesting way. Like I needed them to tell me something. I, I needed to tell them something at a certain point of their life. Fascinating stuff. Like I got referred to a massage patient yesterday and she was such a powerful, energetic person. She's a lawyer. We were in the small little cottage. I had to get my massage table in the small little cottage and it smells like mint ice cream when I get inside. She has bone collagen powder and all these health products and coconut oil and you know totally i resonate with all that stuff all that stuff is that high frequency health is just it makes you feel vibrant and she had all that stuff and she was one of the most interesting expressive honest people i've ever met and wow she was the most sensitive person to chemicals and toxins she was sniffing my sheets and sniffing my pillows and saying, can we use something with an organic chemical-free detergent? And I thought she was fascinating, extremely fascinating, and really connected to an intelligence that's saying, we want to lift humanity. That's the real game. That's what we're connected into. <laughs> that's the funnest game. Raising your consciousness is the best feeling. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like that feeling of freedom and bliss. At just existing think of it you don't need to go and party you don't need to put drugs inside your system you're already generating them you're already having a party inside <laughs> you are the party your chemicals are the party you are the drugs you are the weed you are the the cannabis like Sadhguru says we have the cannabis receptors in our brain waiting to be stimulated and I feel blessed I feel blessed that I found the system of eating the education needs to find you. And then the ability to get the foods. We live in a day where I can order coconut powder. Do you know how hard it is to get coconuts from that coconut tree up there? I can just get the coconut powder. Boop, 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 boop. 
It's that easy. <laughs> I get all the fruits and frozen fruits I want. It's so easy. I blend them all. Easiest to digest. Blenders didn't exist 100 years ago, guys. Amazon. Blenders. Coconuts. Smartphones. Yo, this education is coming at you. I will reach you with this education. I will reach you with this blessing. It's the simplest way to eradicate a majority of disease and pain and suffering that's happening to people is getting their health on lock. An insight came to me. I want to help people lose weight. I want to help people energize themselves and sharpen their mind and their brain and empower themselves to think clearly and to feel clearly and to be free from their food addictions and their lethargy addictions and their low self-esteem. I'm going to be talking about this. Helping people with food. Food is an entire world and you'll never explore unless if you explore. You're never going to know what really resonates with your system. You're not going to know how good you can feel if you don't explore. Do something weird. Do something different. Do something extreme with your food. Break free from those addictions you have to the bagels, the white bread, the corn, the dairy. You have to experiment. You have no idea how much better you can feel. Experiment for five years doing different things. Always try different things. Food is you and your body and your mind is creating you. Experiment with it. It doesn't even occur to so many people to experiment with this and to find what really works. Be meticulous. Treat this like it's your life. Your life does depend on it. The quality, the length, the profoundness, the joy. <laughs> you, can, you don't know how good you can feel when your intestines are clean, when your organs are clean, when you're detoxed. I feel like the seven day liquid only is detoxed me and I wasn't even that toxic. Guys, different things happen. You, you show up with different energy. You attract different energies towards you when your energy is functioning at a different level. It's so simple. Take these words, deepen your heart, and act on them. And start trying new things. And feel the blessedness. Feel the gratitude. Feel the joy and feel the lightness of being alive in this day and age together. You and me right now. I'm speaking to you. Life is so beautiful. Life is... There's so much opportunity. There's... There's gold in your backyard. There's acres of diamonds. And just exploring your mind and exploring these new possibilities of just eating differently, exercising, meditating, listening to the most profound men of all time that are more accessible ever. You can go on YouTube and listen to Napoleon Hill, Kabbalion, David Rodriguez, book reviews. Go look up David Rodriguez. He does the best book reviews on the planet. In an hour, you can get a download into your brain of some of the most profound, deep, spiritual men. How they see the world. Talking about your mind and how it creates and generates everything based on your beliefs, your perceptions. You have to listen to these books. As a man thinketh. By James Allen, Think and Grow Rich, The Law of Success, Napoleon Hill, Psycho Cybernetics, Understanding How You Can Use Your Mind to Morph Reality, The Kabbalion by the Three Initiates. Listen to all these books. They will change how you see the world. Listen to Autobiography of a Yogi. It will change the way you see life, period. You'll never be the same. You just won't. Your mind has to be enlightened with knowledge with education and it's the easiest it's ever been it's the easiest it's ever been we're so blessed <clears throat> we're so blessed life is so sweet and knowledge is so sweet when you feel the blessedness that it gives you finally when you find the formula that works life becomes so simple and gratitude 
you start understanding gratitude when you have perspective, historical perspective on how hard it was for so many people and how we're standing on the shoulders of so many people and all the intelligence of humanity and all the labors of all of our forefathers to create the government that makes all of this possible. The technology, the internet, Amazon, we can get food easily, we can get educated easily. <sighs> Mosquitoes are coming out, but look at this. This is all given. This is what's here. This is the most beautiful mystery that we're here together. <laughs> it's wonderful isn't it guys i got the offer accepted on my house today and we're moving forward with inspection tomorrow and christmas is around the corner and i can feel human consciousness is happy i can feel it's different and I want to, I want to just continue that higher consciousness. It doesn't have to be Christmas, you know. We're alive together. When you get your health and your mind right and your body right, things just click and. Things become so profound. You're not wrestling with your health or your mind and worrying about stupid things anymore. You're instead in awe of everything and at bliss, <laughs> at ease and peace and bliss and you get to explore. You're disentangled in so many ways. And the feeling that you have is love love for your existence internal bliss you just feel really good you just feel high you can feel this good it's incredible i'm so grateful <laughs> okay i think this is the end of day eight we're gonna research and give back and end the day with some hatha yoga